Hello, welcome to my Sunday front. Today is just a regular day. Um, this show is going to be purely on hygiene because I get uh, requested that a lot. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is that um, in order to have proper um, maintenance on your on your um, skin, um, you need you need to invest the time, the money, and have patience because sometimes if you, especially if you have problematic um, prone uh, systems going on, you're going to have to work on it. You're going to have to work on taking the time out for yourself. If you're not used to it, you're going to have to have patience because it takes a lot out of you to get the pride away from you know and like that's the thing with a lot of the videos that I've been making I know like I done I done um full glam and I've done concealer only and I've done contouring but we got to take the pride out because for once we're, we're gonna focus on presenting ourselves proper right we're gonna work on looking the part of you know a winner you know we're going to work on having our self-esteem, confidence, and being centered and focused around um, just being that person that people want to look at, want to be around, are happy around, and are proud that they're a part of, you know, our circles. So let's get started. Um, as you can see... I have a freshly clean face. Um, like I said, if you saw my haul, I like this. This is a shampoo and body wash. It's like a neutral base. So like this, they use it for medical. So you can use it no matter what. If you have anything going on, this is pretty much safe. You can ask, but um, this costs $2. So, and um, like I said, it has various uses. You can use it, you know, to wash your face with, um, and it's, you know, it's safe. So this is just Dina Care, and like I said, it's a neutral base. You don't have to be scared, you know, and you want to find something that you're going to have, um, not have problems, you know. Sometimes you have perfumes, dyes, sometimes you have ingredients that are, um irritate irritates and you want to find something that works for you so like i said i just wash my face right now the first thing i do is i put lanolin where i need it sometimes i need it here sometimes i need it here the thing with lanolin is that you know i like i get like um how do you call it? It's it's just like pure like it's from it's from an animal. I think it's from a sheep. Well, like sheep, and um, it, it's like you don't need a lot, so you can put it on really lightly. And like I said, I have spots around that I need lanolin on, but sometimes um, it's kind of really 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 moisturizing so I just like to put it on my brows like when I'm not putting makeup on I like to put it on my brow and look how slick it just slicks them back and it moisturizes up here where we do um, the removal you know we depilitate right here and so it gets kind of raw sometimes and it starts crusting like uh kind of like dandruff it kind of flakes a little bit and we need to just get that because like eventually you run into problems where you um have to um treat it and then you can't depilitate and you can't maintain this area which is kind of like the center of where people first notice you your brow um is kind of telling 
what type like your personality so like that's why people like I arched eyebrow because it gives like an expression so no matter your mood it kind of makes you look like um just a normal um neutral attitude so you're approachable automatically and that's you know another thing that we need to focus on is being approachable as well as being presentable we need to be um have like this kind of like a, a proper look that we're not going to be kind of offensive looking or when we're in the public we're not going to be defensive because we're not feeling the vibe because we don't we don't have everything put together or something like we lack confidence so then our self-esteem is kind of lowered and then when we're in public people notice it so then they kind of push back on um the whole approaching you and interacting with you and you know getting to know you and liking you you know for who you are because you have to you know not break the ice but you kind of have to um you kind of have to go past just being noticed you kind of have to be um like i said approachable and welcoming to the event of um interacting and you know we have to look proper we have to not be um looking kind of rough and looking kind of um you know just um not up to you know like we we're not going to feel up to interactions we're not going to feel like we can communicate well because we're we don't have that part down um so moisturize is a main thing here i use this strivectin as d it's uh stretch marks wrinkles i've been using this since i was a teenager um and i'm not bragging but i'm 43 years old and I, you don't need that much um, i don't know why my goodness so like this i just put it all around my face and you can put it on your nose you can put it under your neck you can put it on your neck you can put it on your duckling you can put it anywhere on your body and it's good for you you know get under your ears where they tend to be dry under your chin where we tend to neglect that area your v-line and your cheeks we always get dry patches here on our cheeks and our v-line and it's good to kind of massage it into around your mouth there's always dry patches here around your nose and just get your nose in general because it flakes a little bit okay and under your eyes don't get too close to your don't get close to your eyeball and you kind of in general want to focus on under and around your orbital bone because this is sensitive skin right here and um, inside of your orbital bone it's really sensitive so just the vapors from anything alone can cause your eye to water and redden with irritation so you kind of want to avoid this area but um, I get as close to it as possible because, like I said, it's like an anti-wrinkle. Um, and um, I find it soothing to that area because I tend to be drier here um, than usual. So, And that lanolin that I already put down kind of helps soothe my eyelid because um, I do get dry patches there. Like I said, from depletion, and that's done. So that's two things done. And as you can see, it looks a lot, it looks a lot more less, you know, like red and. Can you see that? The color just came back automatically. And. 
can see. Um, another thing that I use is under eye cream. This is Nightwear Plus. This is by Estee Lauder. And um, I don't really have a lot left, so I'm just going to put what I have just around my eye. And I put it up here and I put it in the crease, in the between my eye. I put it right here by the crow's feet and just spread it around the orbital bone near your tear duct where your eye and your nose meet. The lid and the brow bone. The brow bone. Those creases that you can treat them those forehead creases, you can also treat them with eye cream. Um, don't be scared to use it for multiple purposes. Um, the fold right here, what they call the 11s, the frown mark, those also are treated by under eye cream. Um, like I said, multiple uses. Um, I just ran out today. Um, so, just for show purposes, I'm gonna rub it in really fast because I just wanted to show you guys how I you utilize it in different ways not just under the eye where it, it says um, because it does remove wrinkles and age, aging signs of aging but it also works for different parts of the eye like I said and one thing um, people are sensitive about the wrinkles up here because they tend to be thicker and more pronounced and like I said this will address it um, under eye cream addresses it so if you're looking for something and you can't find anything just hit up some under eye cream that you have or just purchase some and just rub it in nightly or what have you so another thing that I have um, like I said before, I use this to grow my lashes, and I just go like this, like this. Um, you can do it like this, or you can just go like this. And you saw this in the haul. It's Wet n Wild's Boost Me. Um, Boost Me Up Brow and Lash Serum Gel. And um, you just rub it like that and let it dry. And you can do the bottom lashes too. That's what's cool about it. Like you can. Like literally, wherever you put it, you grow lashes, so kind of keep close to, keep close to, um, your line, your natural line. But try to get all of them, you know? And you can also do your brow. Like if you're sparse in certain spots or you have scarring, you can probably just go over it with the tip and um, it'll help um, it'll help put vitamins back where you need them. And so those are those things. Uh, another thing that I do is where I wear this. It's Copper Tone um, 50 SPF. This is hypoallergenic with aloe and vitamin E. So it's got UV and UVA protection. And I just get a little bit. 
when I'm out. This is very important to me because, like I said, I get freckles really fast. I get um, discoloration on my skin if I don't wear proper sunscreen. And you want to avoid the eye area or any irritation on the skin, but you want to cover your entire exposed skin with this. Um, so I just kind of get on the brow bone, but I don't go into the eye. When you sweat, it will get in your eyeball. So please avoid the eye. Um, do all your body if you can. Um, that's being exposed to the sun. Don't forget your elbows. Don't forget your knees. Um, like I said, this is very important when you're in the sun or doing anything in the sun. Um, it says it's water resistant. If you're in the pool or doing anything near the water for 80 minutes. And, um, yeah, this is what I use. And then, um, of course, I have my powder. This keeps me fresh. I like to use this um, just in place of makeup. So I just pat it into my skin and it kind of soothes my skin from, um, I, I, call, I call it like sweat, you know, like, I like to put it everywhere, the decollete and under my chin. under the ear and it also kind of mattifies your skin a little bit so um, I'd say don't go ham on it it's just like you know like even when you put lotion on don't go ham on it because then it clogs your pores and you end up with an uh, irritation problem so um, although it, it could benefit you, um, everything with moderation. Um, so that's about it. I have these few items that I use all the time um, just to keep up and just to keep up with my skin. Um, you don't need to spend a bunch of money to do it, but you do need to take proper care of it. And um, like I said, if you're um, looking for things that work for you, you know, this white tone was like five bucks. Um, this lanolin was like ten bucks, under ten bucks, like easily. Um, this copper tone was about you know under 10 it was under 10 bucks definitely so I mean I'm not spending a crazy amount of money this is probably I think these are probably the ones that um, they last a long time but also as you can see I use them all the way till they're empties um, and this lasts me it could last you like a year this could last you half a year probably and um, you can use it for a lot of different things like I showed you and um, they work they work 100% I I had uh, positive um, outcomes with these um, and um, like I said I've been wearing I think I say Lauder I've been wearing those lotions and Shebectin I've been wearing those lotions since I was a teen um, lanolin, lanolin is recommended, it's a recommended um, product just like this one. Um, if, even if you have irritations or medical concerns, it's kind of these are kind of the more neutral things, like these are like the go to's if you have something going on. So, um, your skin, save.
um, and sunscreen. Sunscreen is important. So I'd say do your research if you're gonna try something different. Um, stay on the safe side, okay? Um, use something that works. Use something that works. Your skin, you only have one, it's an organ, and you have to keep up with it. You can't just like say, you know what, maybe tomorrow. Um, every day, make an effort to keep up with it, and you know, you're only gonna benefit in the future. Um, that said, I hope you like my video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon on my son different. Bye-bye.